Hampton CCs as we go to green. All right, Bill looking for green as we start the show here at the Legion tonight. Uh, green flag in the air. So as we look the field over, going down into turn number three. With 24, here Joe Kemp is your leader in the 24. Then the number 42, Ryan Farwell to run second. Ed Rickery in the 48 pulling up. Keisha Bosano in the number 70 as they fly out of turn number four here, number 17, Matt Cowley, trying to come to the front here. Number six, Ken Streisberg in the number six, working his way up to the outside here and pouring it on way to the high side. The 08, Logan Osborne. In the 08, making a good run to the outside as they charge into turn number three. Side by side, and they are flat out racing these little cars here at the Legion tonight. Joe Camp in the number 24 leads the show out of turn number four down to turn number one ego. Dan Vickery's moved up to uh, second place. Ryan Powell holding on to third, and uh, number 17, Matt Kelly, fired up as he's fourth, moving into the top five here. Tyler Vickery, the number 46, Grant, uh, Grand Estate Mini Spence, courtesy of O'Reilly Auto Parts, with Joe Kent, your leader, in the number 24, as he heads into lap traffic on a turn number four down the main straightaway as he's going to be looking at Leo Fowler in that number seven. 20 laps the distance here as the 24 making uh, an inside pass up in turn number three, Joe Kemp underneath the number seven of Leo Fowler. So Kemp picking his way through the lap traffic. Ed Vickery in the 48, a distant second. Then it's the number 42 hanging on to third place, Ryan Farwell. But uh, the 17, Matt Cowley. Cowley is going to challenge that 42 for that third spot. 54, William Pinkham going by us. So 10 down and 10 to go for victory here tonight in the Grand Estate Mini Sprint. Joe Kemp in the number 24 threads his way through lap traffic as he goes to turn number three. Ed Vickery trying to reel him in here in the last half of this event. Vickery in the number 48 works the inside of the speedway as he goes by the start finish line. And they're bunching up as they get by the number seven, Leo Fowler. 42 continues to run third at his Ryan Fowler in the 42. It's the seven of Leo Fowler there trying to get by. Then the number is 60, Kyle Pittman. Pittman running to the front as he challenges the 17 of Matt Cowley side by side. Pittman makes the pass. Cowley slides to the outside here. So the Granite State Mini Sprint flying around the Legion Speedway tonight. And the guy to reel in right now, and he's going to have it. Uh, a challenge here. You got Joe Kemp in the number 24 as your race leader. Following him, though, in the uh, 48. And Vickery. Vickery is pulled up here as he's run uh, Kemp down here in lap traffic. Kemp, oh, they tangled. Lap car, the number 70, Keisha Bosano. And we have a new race leader. Everyone shuffles it out, gets keeps clean and green here. Ed Vickery is your race leader in the number 48. 
Joe Kemp may have rallied back for second place here. Kemp to the number 24, then uh, the uh, number 42 to run third, Brian Farwell. Wow, what a show. Great job of driving by everyone down there coming out of turn number four as we stay green here for the Grand Estate Mini Sprints. Ed Vickery goes to the lead here as he was running down here. Leader Joe Kemp running second and third now, I believe, is the number 60 of Kyle Pittman. Two to go, two laps to go as they go by the start finish line with Ed Vickery, your race leader, Joe Kemp. Running second, but Kyle Pittman in the double zero. We got one more trip around the speedway, and Kyle Pittman on a charge. Joe Kemp going to try to keep him at bay. Ed Vickery works underneath the number seven. He continues to lead. All right, Pittman pulls down to the inside and lap traffic. Kemp has to back off the throttle in lap traffic. Pittman goes to second. Ed Vickery takes the win in the number 24, and we are headed trackside. Tyler Jones on the number 17. Boy, Dick Lamont right on the outside. In the number 18, I believe is the points leader. Oh, you know, the backstretch wall got a back arm and it will pick up his number. But boy, he skated down the backstretch wall. Dick Lamont goes to the front in the number 18. Number eight, we do not have the name of a driver on the number eight. Uh, Zach Ebert in the number 14 runs third. It could be uh, over the lead and he is flying we'll get his name in victory lane and he is stretching out his lead Dick Lamont to hang on to second in the 18 Zach Ewitt in the number 14 and a, a number 17 a rookie in this class Tyler Jones is that number 17 out of turn number four the 10 of Kevin Heath, number seven working his way up to traffic. Drew Elbridge, Carl Bolo in the number 15 as they pour it on here. Grand State Mini spent 600 CC. Uh, a bit faster than the uh, 500 cc's as they make a quick work of this. Bradley Osgood in that double zero. And you've got right on the outside there, Tony Shar, at number 20, always a fast racer. Halfway through this one, 10 down and 10 to go. Number eight is your leader. and checked in a little late we will get the name but right now he is putting on a show that number eight Grand State Ministry getting through traffic in a hurry here at the Legion Zach Hebert in the number 14 moves to second Dick Lamont in the number 18 and that's not official as we will look at the uh, score sheet for the final results 
Julian Badger in the number 98. So Jones, a rookie here in this division. Bringing up uh, number seven, Drew Eldridge. All right, two to go. What is it? Green comes out. Zach Ebert on the outside of Ben Michan as they will duke it out up in turn two. Michan a little quicker on the inside. Zach Ebert right there on the throttle with the 14. Kyle Delamo pulls up to run third and would like something else. White flag has been displayed. He got one to go. Actually, we got a half a lap to go with Michan. Uh, coming out of turn number four, your race leader, Ben Bishan has piloted his way to a win here in the Granite State Mini Sprint 600s. Zach Hebert second, Kyle, uh, Kyle Delamo third. Wow, what a show for the Granite State Mini Sprints. How you doing? I'm your host, Troy Boston of Small Engine Racing here at Legion Speedway. We're talking to Ed Vickery, who just pulled off a great victory tonight. Uh, came in third, he's running hard in third place. Got towards the uh, front of the pack towards the end. How did your night go? What did the track feel like to you? And great pull off at the end on the last couple of laps. Uh, the track was real rough, but it had a lot of bite to it and stuff like that. Um, the 24 car was, was checked out and I was catching him a little bit. We got into lap traffic and had a little bit of an issue and I got a chance to get around him there. Um, and at that point I saw those five to go and I was just driving the tires off of it. I was just trying to do the best I can to stay out front. I had no idea where people were behind us. We don't have, cam we don't have mirrors in these things because you can't see behind you. It's a lonely, first place can be a lonely place sometimes. So I want to thank my sponsors, Rob Racing Engine, Happy Butchers, um, The Last Chair, RTS chassis and stuff like that. Rob built me a great motor. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this little 400. We're running a 416 in this car against the 500s and it's really running good. And we finally, we've been working all year to get it here. And happy. Been a good night. Yeah, Joe Kemp, number 24, was running real strong up front for almost three quarters of the races. Yeah. You came through the pack nicely towards the last few laps. You definitely caught up on them. Definitely had some good run with the uh, lap traffic that helped you out. Yeah. How did that work out for you at the end? Well, when, it, when Joe spun a little bit, that's all it needed, and I kind of got, I, I avoided the, the accident. It wasn't really an accident. They just kind of bumped each other a little bit and came out around the outside, and glad to see that it didn't go to a yellow flag and just stayed on the throttle. That's all I kept doing was just trying to drive it, try to stay out of the holes. Track got torn up a little bit tonight. With all the cars and all the races going on, some great racing up here at Legion Speedway. If you ever get a chance to get out to a dirt track, it's cheaper than going to a movies. You ought to come out to a dirt track. Well, congratulations on your victory tonight. Hope to see you one more week next week to finish off the year, and oh, good yeah. luck to you. I'll be there. Thank Thanks, you, Ed. Troy. How you doing? I'm Troy Boston, your host from Small Engine Racing. We're here at Legion Speedway. We've got our second place finisher in the 500 division, Kyle Pittman. Had a great night. It was a little bit of a short night of uh, from rain that came in, so they basically just got all the features in. But here we got Kyle Pittman uh, for second place tonight. How was the track with you, and how was everything uh, for you tonight? Uh, it was pretty good. I started mid-pack, fell to the back, and then come all the way back up through. Going from the top to the bottom, you just had to run it where there wasn't the bumps, and it was just a pretty nice track, other than the bumps, a little bit. And yeah, it was good. The rain that came in tonight just before the night started of racing, I know it made a hecticness with the track, made it a lot slick and slippery. That's where your bumps probably came out of. But you did a great job at avoiding all the bumps. Was there any traffic that gave you more of a hard time? Was there a good group of two or three cars you struggled to get through? Uh, the beginning, a little bit. I had a few cars that I struggled. They are just three, like two, three wide. I couldn't really get around. I had to wait till someone made a mistake or passed. So I just had to play a waiting game, be patient. Tonight's the night on this type of track is a patient game. Yeah. I mean, it is a little slick out there, so everybody was moving around pretty good. But you did have a good job tonight. Kyle, thank you very much, and congratulations. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? This is your host, Troy Boston. We're at Small Engine Racing here at Legion Speedway. we got a gentleman here who's made some appearances this year a few times. Every time he's come out, he's done really well at running up front. Uh, this gentleman is Joe Kemp, running the number 24, finishing third tonight in the 500 division. How'd the track feel to you? And I know you were running up front quite well for a while. 
<laughs> boy, I love that track. It, it rained and the way it dried up, boy, it was really tacky. The car just stuck like glue. I didn't have to do much to it. Felt really, really good, smooth. The car looked like it was really running smooth out there. You definitely had some good lines. You're definitely going around. How'd the lap traffic feel to you when you got tangled up later on? Ah, uh, it's not there. It's not their fault. So, you know, you're learning and everything. You know, you got to take that in consideration. I probably could have let up a little bit and try to get a little more room and things like that. You know, it's, you know, you you see something and you take it, try to take advantage of it, and sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. That's the way it works. Now we didn't get to see you much this year, so I'd like to give you a little information on who you are, where you're from, what kind of experience you've had over the last several years of racing. Oh, I started out uh, racing four cylinders there for a while, and uh, my dad got me into these, and and I really like these. And uh, uh, this is my my third year. I, you know, my first first year I did ran a few times, and last year I ran into some troubles and in trying to get equipment right. And finally, I, I hit it and I hit my mark. And being so busy, you know, family and stuff. Hopefully, maybe next year I'll be able to race a lot more. That's one thing about this club. It is a family oriented club. We are here for a hobby more than a job. So a lot of it is got to be with family. I mean, it's family's number one first. Racing is a hobby. But it's great to see you come back tonight. Great to see you have a good run tonight. Hope to see you come back the last week, next week. My car will be here. I'm putting my cousin in it and let him have a go around with it with another friend of mine that's been helping. So awesome. We'll be here. Awesome, Joe. Thank you very much. And congratulations on the third place finish. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? I'm your host, Troy Boston from Small Engine Racing. We're here at Legion Speedway. We're talking to Ben Bichin, who uh, just won the 600 feature. Uh, how'd the track feel to you? How'd the surface go and uh, how'd the car handle? Well, throughout the race tonight, the track started off a little rough, a little tacky, but eventually it started to loosen up and began to get in my favor, developed a little bit of a groove, and I just hooked up the car in the race spot and I just kept on going. You had a great jump. I mean, you came up from mid-pack. You got into the lead pretty damn quick. You ran right up front and then just wouldn't let it go. It was having a hard time having anybody catch up to you, which is a good thing for you. You had no tr challenges. I know when you got to lap traffic, got a little more challenging in lap traffic. How'd that feel on coming through? It was a little rough. I just wanted to uh, watch it and keep, keep my eye on the people so I know where to pass them in the right spot. So I don't mess anybody else up, don't mess myself up, and make it just a good night of racing. You had a good, clean night of racing, great win tonight. Hope to see you back next week. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Troy Boston, host of Small Engine Racing here at Legion Speedway. We're talking to Zach Herbert, who took a uh, second place tonight in the 600 division. Came from the back of the pack pretty good, went through the crowd nicely. How'd it feel to you and how'd the track go? Uh, it felt really good. Uh, you know, Dean put on a heck of a uh, track this week for us and uh, you know, I made some drastic uh, chassis changes and it really showed tonight and uh, went really well. It went anywhere I wanted to put it. Track, like I said, we got a little bit of a short out with rain tonight. We just got features. We did a great job setting the car up for what was out there for tacky tracks. Uh, how did the lap traffic feel to you? We know we uh, talked to a couple of the top three drivers. They had a little tough time getting through some lap traffic. How about yourself? Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a couple of cars that uh, I hesitated because, you know, I am a little aggressive, I think, but I, uh, I was patient. I just used my head and uh, was watching their line where their mistakes were, and I would set myself up the next lap going around and uh, taking, them, uh, taking a chance. Uh, as the tattoo says, uh, drive fast, take chances, so took a chance and it paid off. Well, I appreciate you taking the time tonight to spend some time with us. Congratulations on your second place finish. Now, who we got here for a young racer? Um, Caden Herbert. Caden Herbert. You must be Zach's son. So that means you're going to be coming up and sitting in his seat soon. Yes, I am. Now you like coming to the track, hanging out with Dad and enjoying the cars or what? Yeah. Are you learning anything? Yeah. Well, that's good. You got to keep an eye on what's going on, talk to people around here and learn how to set up cars. You're going to be getting in the seat soon. So it's good talking to you guys. Zach, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? I'm the host, Troy Boston from Small Engine Racing. We're here at Legion Speedway. We're here with Kyle Bellevue, who just took third place in the 600 division. They had a great run out there. How'd the track feel to you, and how'd the car feel? Track was a little rough. Uh, car was kind of loose coming out of the corners. I didn't really have the best setup, but a um, little rough on the track, which means driving was a little hard. And, um, tough getting around some of the guys, but they raced good. They raced clean. and. We came up from the back, got a third from, I think it was 10th spot, so can't complain. And I got to thank everybody for just a great night, all the support from everybody, the fans for coming out, and it was an overall great night. 
You did great. You were in the back there, like I said, about mid-pack back, almost to the back. And you cruised right through the rap traffic or the field, cruised right up to the front nicely. You had a good battle with Ben Bashin and, and um, Zach Herbert up front for the top three. It was a great race and it looked awesome. How did everything else feel to you? And you're going to be back next week. I should be back next week. Uh, I got some setups to do in the car, try to maybe loosen it up a little bit because uh, it was def definitely a tacky night. Um, but I will be back next week and give them hell and we'll see where it goes. You got it, Kyle. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.